here's the thing about Kanye, in my opinion, based on what I know about him and his lifestyle. Mm-hmm. First of all, to the best of my knowledge, he does not have a publicist. Maybe this is controversial. I think he's a smart guy. I I think he knows exactly what he's doing and doesn't give a shit about it. Um, mm-hmm. I think that he makes choices. I think he also accidentally, intentionally, I don't know. I think he has surrounded himself with a team of yes people. And what I mean is he bankrolls a lot of people's lifestyles. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think a lot of people who should be saying, hey man, like, let's think about this. I think those people instead are afraid to sacrifice the lifestyle they're accustomed to living and say, whatever you want, Kanye, go for it. Or uh, also possible, they they just can't control him, right. right? I don't believe he has a personal publicist. I'm sure his record label has a PR team, but what can they really do? He's not out there promoting a record. He's promoting his own opinions. The other day, I haven't really discussed this, so you guys are getting like a min- mini exclusive on my life. On Monday, I was at a Walgreens and uh, I had my dog with me. I was going to pick up a prescription. I, I can walk there. It's right down the street. And Um, I live in a a part of the valley now that is very overrun with homeless people. Mm -hmm. So I never know who I'm going to encounter when I'm out there. So I'm very alert, very cognizant. Um, A couple of years ago, I was actually assaulted by a homeless person. So I'm very hypervigilant. And my dog and I were walking through Walgreens and a black gentleman um, looked at me and said, are you Jewish? And I was immediately like frozen because I'm in my neighborhood and I'm like, who is this person? But I said, I said, yeah, I am like, I don't know what about me screams Jewish, but okay. I said, yeah, I'm not ashamed of it. And and my first instinct is to say, yes, I am. And he caught some stuff up in his throat and he spit on me. Oh my God. And, um, you know, I only mentioned he's black because he is from a, a different marginalized community than I am. It's a shame that he doesn't have more sympathy or empathy. Um, He may be a Kanye West fan. um, And and that's what inspired him to do that. He may have been a homeless guy. I don't know. He may have been someone who just was walking around that day looking for Jews. I have no idea. But um, God, I don't even remember how we started this conversation because now I'm like sweating. But well, that's a crazy situation to. to, Yeah. So I got spit on because I'm Jewish. And, and, Here's the thing. Regardless I saw Deborah... of who you are, though, I'm saying regardless of being Jewish or him being black, like, yeah, we have to have more civility with one another as, as human yeah. beings. Like, who well, spits I saw, on somebody? I saw Deborah Messing tweet something along the lines of there are 15 million Jews in the world. Kanye West has almost 19 million followers. Right. And yeah. I'm not saying all of them listen to what he says, but mm. that's that's his reach. Right. Yeah. So. If people think it's silly to be, I would say it's bigger than that. Yeah. I mean, if if people think it's silly or trivial or dumb to be afraid of these things that he is saying out loud, it's not like I got spit on is my point. Like he has influence. This is, this is a really terrible case study of PR and how PR can work. Right. He's out there saying things. He's convincing people of things that are not so, and I get spit on or a lot worse happens. Right. Yeah. Um, and so when you get companies like the real real, who's a, it's a designer resale platform, who's no mm. longer taking and reselling, um, Kanye products, um, yeah. you know, you get, uh, sketchers escorting him out of the building. You get finally Adidas dropping him. Um, that's, that's important. That is really important stuff. That is, that is people saying like, this is not okay. And we don't agree with it. Yeah. And you shouldn't either. Right. That's yeah. the PR. That's that's the strategy. I have no idea why it took Adidas that long. I would have been on it with some kind of statement immediately. Um, shame on them. Um, yeah. that, but- that was that was money. You know, he's he's responsible for nearly 70 percent of their online sales. Their stock shit. by half. When they I think when it, you so- sign on to work with Kanye, you you yeah. got to know what you're signing on to. Um, yeah. Tough shit. At the, at the end of the day, yeah. there's no some... excuse, but I think that's the reason why. No. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. and, and I had a fight this morning with someone on LinkedIn who was saying at the end of the day, business is business and they got to make money. Okay, fine. But we're also human beings. It's very cynical. View I'm also, 
Like I said, there's a pile of Adidas shit on my floor right now. It includes four pair of shoes, a sweatshirt, a lanyard, a hat, gloves. Like I'm not exaggerating. I'm an, I was an Adidas fangirl. I'm a consumer. So you want to talk about Kanye costing you money now? What about all the millions of people who are no longer going to buy your products for a decade? Right, where they vote with their with their wallet. We vote with our. I mean, their stock dropped. Right, yeah. their stock plummeted, yeah, dropped- and a day later they were disavowing him. So no. yeah, that's that's where you hit them with their wallets. 